Lee Memorial Hospital is Lee Health's oldest hospital, which is getting a new location. But what's going to be in its place? I'm Fox 4 senior reporter Caitlin Knapp, and I want to bring in Fort Myers community correspondent MUSG Price that was at a meeting here in the Fort Myers City Hall, and you got some answers today. What is possibly going to be in its place? Let's talk about it. So during that meeting, they were talking about flattening Lee Memorial Hospital because it's too big. It's a big space, 17 acres, and it was built to be medical. Now, they did mention that it could be a grocery store, parks, affordable housing, you name it. But one of the presenters did say that if you want to be a part of the conversation, they're going to have those discussions so you can chime in on what will take that place. But we've been tracking this and covering it for a while, right? And I want to tell you a little bit about this. Lee Memorial Hospital has been in the community for over a century. It's scheduled to close its doors in 2027. Now we've seen that construction that's happening off of Colonial and Challenger. That's supposed to be the new hospital location, which it also has a new name, Lee Hill Fort Myers. The goal is to open the new location in the same year the old building closes. But I will continue to track this entire process because we want to make sure you all are part of that redevelopment or repurposing conversation. But at the meeting, it was stacked with projects and topics like the Yacht Basin, which we all want to know. It's been empty since Hurricane Ian. You were here during that time. So what are our next steps? Well, unfortunately, it's probably going to sit there for at least another year. And that's because board members said that the Army Corps of Engineers told them that the permit that was submitted by the company in charge of redesigning it, well, they may not get that permit until at least next summer. And then you got to think how long construction is going to take as well. So let's take you back just a little bit as far as how this process has gone over the past two years. But we'll kind of fast forward just a little bit. Now, again, Suntex is the company that is in charge of redesigning the yacht base and they were awarded the contract. In my previous reporting, I found out they submitted a permit to the Army Corps before Ian, which was approved. However, they submitted another permit application in June because more work needs to be done. And that work, well, there's really no timeline. With the permit likely not getting the green light until next summer, the Yacht Basin will sit empty. So at this point, Miyoshi, it's really just a waiting game to see how long it's going to take for this permit and then how long it's going to take for the construction. But there is no timeline. However, Fox 4, we're dedicated to bringing you this information as soon as it happens. But for now, reporting inside of the Fort Myers City Hall, Caitlin Knapp, Miyoshi Price, Fox 4.